if like me you've got an old type Makita drill with an 18 volt NICAD battery and the battery has come to the end of its life you might be trying to decide what your options are uh, one would be to buy a replacement battery um, and another might be to buy a whole new drill in which case it, it would make sense to buy uh, an LXT drill if you're going to go for a Makita um, with a lithium iron battery now I've discovered that it's possible to fit um, an LXT battery onto your existing drill and therefore um, save yourself a few quid. Here's how I did it. Here's an LXT lithium ion battery. This particular one is a 3 amp hour. They come in various different sizes. Um, they're not the cheapest things in the world. I actually got this one second hand as part of a, a package with um, with two drills so it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Um, but they do last a long time. Now obviously the terminals on the back of the lithium battery and on the back of the NICAD battery are very different. Um, so to put this battery onto this drill is going to require an adapter plate. And here is that adapter plate. As you can see it's got the shape of the NICAD battery on the one side and then on the back it's got a receptacle to receive the lithium battery. The idea is you click the adapter plate into the back of the drill and the adapter plate lives with the drill. Once that's in there, it's a good tight fit and it takes a screwdriver to pop these little tags here to get it out again. So you don't need to worry about that once that's in there. And then it's simply a case of sliding on the battery as you would do with any of the LXT drills. And it's really as simple as that. Here's a close-up of the adapter plate. As you can see there are no electronics inside it. Uh, it's purely a plastic moulding, it's quite hard plastic. And there are um, two metal um, terminals which run all the way through from this side where the lithium battery goes onto this side where it joins onto the drill where, the, um, where, it, where it replicates the NICAD. It's got a warning on it there saying do not use in charger. Uh, which is fairly obvious, I'd imagine uh, you wouldn't want to uh, try and charge up your lithium battery uh, in a NICAD charger, because uh, who knows what might happen there. All in all, as a cheap and cheerful solution to keeping your old Makita drill going, I think this is a pretty good one. It's worth pointing out that this isn't a genuine Makita part, um, nor is it going to be an authorised part, so, uh, so doing this is going to invalidate your warranty. Uh, but I expect that at this, at this age, this drill's warranty it, it will, be, um, will be long gone. Um, from a safety point of view, and this is purely my, um, my, my opinion and not, um, not that of an expert, doing this is going to be safer than, um, than buying a cheap Chinese import battery um, or, um, or any of that um, hooking up of uh, several batteries together to jumpstart old NICADs, which um, to me looks absolutely terrifying. So I'm very pleased with that. Thank mm -hmm. you.